tracking hundreds of job applications can be a hassle, and you may even lose track of a specific job that you really wanted or forget about an interview you scheduled. Well, not anymore. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to track your job search using JobScan's Job Tracker. Here's how to get started. We are going to start at the beginning of the job search, but you can also jump ahead if you already have a job listing. From your dashboard, go to the Job Feeds panel. Enter a city and job title. Once you've found a job you want to apply for, click on the Save button. A new opportunity card will be automatically created in your job tracker for that job. JobScan will automatically pull in the job description, job title, company name, and job listing URL. You can edit any of these fields as you wish. You can also add the salary information if you have it. If you want to add a job from another source, just go directly to Job Tracker and click Add Job. Next, fill in the job description and job listing details, then click Save. Once saved, all the other tabs will automatically appear. On the Resume tab, you can select the base resume you wish to use or upload a new resume and optimize it using Power Edit. Once you select a resume, it will show the match rate in the top left corner. You can optimize your resume by clicking the Optimize Resume button. You'll be taken to Power Edit where you can optimize your resume and improve your match rate. All the changes you will make reflect on the job card as well. In the Cover Letter tab, you can generate a personalized cover letter based on your skills, experience, and job description. You can also do that from Power Edit. Now let's save and go back to the tracker board. You can see the job added to your saved jobs column. You will also be able to check all the match rates for the jobs you've added for easy reference. Now that you have your resume and cover letter done, you're ready to apply for the job. Once you've applied for the job, you can drag the job card to the Applied column or add the date you applied to the card and change the status of the job application from Saved to Applied and click Save. The job will automatically be moved from the Saved column to the Applied column. This works the same for the interview status. You can drag the job directly to the interview column and add the interview details. Or open the job card, go to the Interviews tab, and fill in the interview details, including the interview type, interview date and time, interviewer name, phone number, email, meeting link, and description or notes, like interviewer profile, questions, and responses to questions you might be asked. Hit Save. The job status will automatically change from Applied to Interview. You can also add details for more than one interview. For example, if you have a video interview, you can select the interview type here, fill in the rest of the details, and click Save. It will be shown on the right side here. Whenever you save interview details, you will receive an email with the interview date and time that you can add to your calendar so that you don't forget about your interview. In the Notes tab, you can add notes for yourself like company history, beliefs, strengths, and competitors. Once you close the card, you'll find the job moved directly to the interview column. But what if you didn't get an interview? Simply open the job card and click Archive. Then Save. This will archive this opportunity and it will be removed from your tracker. Once you get an offer, you can drag the job card to the Offer column. If you didn't add the salary to the job card, it will give you a hint to do so. Click on the card and enter the salary, then click Save. Now you know which jobs you applied for, which jobs you were invited to interview for, and which jobs you are negotiating an offer for or are waiting for the employer's response. Stay organized and track your applications like a pro with Job Tracker. Start for free at jobscan.co.